like a prison. Barbed wires with guard towers and searchlights. Military jeeps that would drive around the perimeter. You were told not to go near the near the fence. You'd get shot. There were no charges and no hearings, no due process. The assumption was you're guilty. You haven't done anything, but you might do something or you will do something. Uh, you just don't treat people like that, especially here in the United States. I mean, we, you don't do that to Americans. Uh, but they did. When the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, our west coast became a potential combat zone. Living in that zone were more than 100,000 persons of Japanese ancestry, two-thirds of them American citizens, one-third aliens. We knew that some among them were potentially dangerous. Most were loyal. Military authorities therefore determined that all of them, citizens and aliens alike, would have to move. I was only uh, 11 years old, still playing marbles and riding my bike and taking care of a few rabbits. And I thought it was going to be a, like the trip we took to the Sierra Nevadas or something. You know, it was Sort of like an adventure. About I seventeen thousand persons. The army provided housing. You walked in the room, and there was just a one bare light bulb, and they had these canvas cots that you had to assemble in order to sleep on, and they gave you a little thin mattress, cot mattress, and a couple of army blankets per person, and that was it. All we could take with us were what we could carry. I mean, there were two suitcases. And of course, you had to pledge allegiance every morning, uh, liberty and justice for all. Obviously, uh, it didn't apply to us. Only when circumstances permit the loyal American citizens once again to enjoy the freedom we in this country cherish, and when the disloyal, we hope, have left this country for good. In the meantime, we are setting a standard for the rest of the world in the treatment of people who may have loyalties to an enemy nation. We are protecting ourselves without violating the principles of Christian decency. And there was just a lot of uh, racism founded in fear. None of, the, none of the fears or the rumors were ever proved true. There was never any evidence of anything but loyalty from the Japanese American community. We, we all have ancestors, and ours have to be Japanese, and we just look the same as the enemy. And once we were put into the camps, the American public thought we were dangerous. I mean, we weren't dangerous, we were not dangerous, but they thought we were dangerous because they put them in the camps. Well, we. There's no way to, to fight that kind of thing. This is something that uh, you know, we have acknowledged as a society was, um, was a mistake, was an injustice, not a mistake, it was an injustice. I was really uh, wondering where my place would be in society when I came out. Uh, I was 15, Queen War broke out, and I said, well, I'm going to join the military. And you can see there were five boys, and these four were in the Army, and I was in the Navy. You know, this is my country. I know no other country. I had never been in, a, in any other country. Uh, and we were patriotic, loyal citizens. Before camp, we were 
loyal, patriotic citizens while we were in camp, and we were loyal, patriotic citizens after camp. Uh, this was our only, only nation.